Okay, so uh, Microsoft Teams, and again, I, I, sometimes we feel like the real power is in showing. And so, uh, you know, some of you may have heard or seen the, the Microsoft Teams logo pop up inside of your Office 365 environment. Some of you may be uh, heard it from colleagues and are wondering what it is and how to enable it. And so we felt that, you know, really the best way to do that is to just dive right in and, and, um, and have a look. So I'm just going to minimize my uh, um, uh, stuff here and pull up the actual client. So what you see here on the screen is Microsoft Teams. And so I'll give you a real quick orientation. Um, so we've got a little bit of an activity feed, chat, Teams meetings kind of going along the left window here. Uh, all of the different components that we're gonna be talking about, we can navigate there on the left. And right now we're in the activity portion uh, of this. And so this is really um, the way that I have this set up for my feed, just describing a number of the folks that have been uh, calling me um, and that I'm able to actually see and interact with, um, you know, messages uh, that people leave um, and actually play back some of those things. I, I won't actually play some of these things because these are actual, um, my, my real uh, voicemail from folks that are leaving me messages. Um, but, you know, there you go. Yeah, and wonderfully, it always blows me away how uh, you have the text uh, and you can see what was actually actually said. So if you're I, I, nine times out of 10, I'm kind of running around. And if I'm at a, at a Starbucks or if I'm running around and I don't have my headset on, I can easily just kind of kind of fly through my, my voicemail. It's, just, it's super impressive. Yeah, and I and I mean, really, it's it's also another way to provide some indexing. And so the way that we've got Teams configured, it does have integration into our telephony system. Um, I will give a little bit of a, a demo when we get down to the calls component of this a bit later. Um, but because of integration, um, anytime people do leave a voicemail, it does do all of the um, you know transcribing into text. So not only do I have the ability to read the messages, I can also you know do a text-based search for the uh, voicemails itself to try and find you know, the, the content that I'm looking for, which is uh, actually quite helpful.